What's going on guys? Got a new video for you. This is actually a follow-up video of uh, one that I have posted in the past on how to install the iWeather widget onto your iDevice. I've been getting several comments um, stating that when you apply this theme in Winterboard that it gives you a black screen and erases whatever previous wallpaper that you've had. That is the case, uh, but I do have a fix for that. And I'll get to that in here in a second. But first off, I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to uh, my buddy Daryl and everybody over at IPTT124 Tech Talk. I will have links to their channels in the link description below. Uh, make sure you guys check those guys out. Um, subscribe to them as well. Wonderful, wonderful information uh, as far as technology, Macs, iDevices, everything you could possibly think of. Um, yeah, very talented and uh, full of knowledge. So go check them out. Um, like I said, I'll put everything in the link description, so you go check them out. Um, now let's get into the widget. Uh, of course, you're going to want to have iWeather widget installed through Cydia, and that is a free widget from the Mod My Eye repo. All right, and uh, just to show you, um, well, actually, I have the background and the weather widget. I forgot to go ahead and erase that. But let me go ahead and winterboard and show you uh, normally what would happen whenever you would apply this weather widget. Now, I will let you know that my screen's going to cut out uh, because I am using screen splitter. Um, but the audio is still going to be here. I just want to give a quick demo of what the issue is and how to fix it. So here we go. Winter board and do a respring. Let's let that uh, respring. And let me get uh, my screen splitter and eye demo back up here. Should be on now, recognizing it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the issue that people are left with. They install the weather widget and the background disappears. Uh, so I will show you now how to fix that. You're going to want to go into iFile. Okay, if uh, you're not familiar with iFile, go ahead and download it in Cydia. All right, uh, from here, you're going to want to be all the way back to the slash. Uh, I will show you how to get the wallpaper first. Uh, just for demo purposes, we're going to use the default Apple wallpapers. You are going to want to go to library. Go ahead and click on that and scroll down till you see wallpapers, of course. Go ahead and click on wallpapers, iPhone, and here is a list of all the stock factory wallpapers. So let's just go to this one, click on whichever one you want, at 2 timespng make sure you get that. Um, and this is the one that we are going to actually copy and uh, apply to our theme. So in the top right hand corner, you're going to want to click edit and whichever wallpaper you choose go ahead and check that bottom right hand corner where the notepad is click that it'll say copy go ahead and copy that and you're done from there now from here you're going to navigate to mobile or excuse me var first go to var scroll down to mobile go ahead and click on mobile and from here you are going to go to library scroll down to see the springboard so go ahead and click on springboard and here's where you're gonna paste the wallpaper that you just copied so top right hand corner click edit bottom right hand corner click on the clipboard and click paste and as you see right now um, the picture I'll go ahead and show you that we just copied is um, right at the top. Uh, now right here you're gonna have the little arrow go ahead and click on that. This is where you're gonna change the name of it. This is crucial right here. So go ahead and hold your finger down uh, on the top part to where it says 100 at 2 timespng Just go ahead and hold your finger there until the little search thing comes up. We're gonna scroll over to the 100 and minus that leave the at two times dot PNG um, but we're gonna rename it to home background and that's a capital H and then lowercase o m e capital B 
A C K G R O U N D. So there we have it. Home background at two times dot png. Go ahead and click done at the top. So now you have your home background at two times dot png. Now we need to go into our var stash folder. So go back into var. Scroll down to see stash. Click on stash. Then of course themes. And we are going to find the iWeather widget. Once you find the iWeather widget, go ahead and click on that and scroll down to the bottom to where you see the wallpaper HTML. Go ahead and click on that. We're going to open that up in Text Viewer. Scroll down just a little bit to this part right here VAR Mobile Library Springboard Home Background.jpg. We are going to erase that. First, we have to click up top to where it says Edit. Go ahead and click on that. And right here is where you're going to start. So just hold your finger down uh, to where you get to the JPG. Go ahead and erase that along with uh, the dot, the period. So now we have home background. All we're going to do is on our keypad just type in the at and then the number two and x dot png. So there we have it. This is what it should look like. Home background at two times dot png. Top right hand corner, go ahead and click save on that. Click done and you are good to go. Exit out of iFile. And of course it's not going to apply it right away. We have to go back into winter board. Select themes. iWeather widget. We're going to uncheck that. And then go ahead and check it again. Now it's going to do a respring again, so um, obviously the phone is going to cut off from the screen, but I'll do the same thing. I'll get it back on there. Respring, let it do its thing. And this time, um, you will now have a background of your choice. Um, just for demo purposes, I went ahead and did the factory Apple wallpapers. You can also do this from uh, your photo album as well. Let me go ahead and turn my screen splitter on and get that uh, up there. Now, as you can see, we have that background that we just copied and pasted. Uh, last thing I will say is um, if you want to use one of your uh, photos that you have uh, you know, stored in your photo library, go back into iFile, go backwards, we're going to actually be going back to the VAR mobile. So let's go back to VAR and select mobile. And you will see media. Click on that. DCIM 100 Apple. And here is all of your images. Um, just for an example, here's one that I just uh, downloaded. Um, same thing, uh, just repeat the process all over again. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and um, first of all, edit, check that down at the bottom where the clipboard comes in, click that, paste it, and uh, repeat the process again, take it back, and uh, rename it to home background at two times dot png, erase the previous one, and you are good to go. So yeah, there is your fix for the iWeather widget uh, in the black screen. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to thumb it up. Leave me some comments down below. And uh, as I said before, go ahead and check out uh, Daryl's channel, as well as the IPTT124 Tech Talk channel, as well as their website. I'll have all links down in the link description. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope it helped out. And uh, yeah, until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.